a final whisper from the void has just arrived. A message travelling for nearly half a century from a machine we thought might be lost forever, a beacon in the endless night finally sharing its last secrets. This signal, weak but persistent, has crossed unimaginable distances to bring us news from the frontier of interstellar space. But what it just told us changes everything we thought we knew about the darkness between the stars, revealing a cosmos far more dynamic and alive than we ever imagined. From the cupola of the space station, our world hangs like a precious sapphire in an endless velvet night, a jewel seeming close enough to hold in your hand, a vibrant oasis of life in the vast cosmic desert. We built vessels to navigate our atmosphere and harness solar energy, crafting marvels of engineering that dance with the winds and sail on sunbeams. We engineered vehicles that could withstand the fury of re-entry, shielding fragile human cargo from the inferno of atmospheric breaking. But the most incredible creation is the one that never returned a pioneer that left home with no intention of coming back, a testament to our innate desire to reach beyond a grasp. It departed from a bright neighborhood before the digital age truly dawned, in an era of rotary phones and nascent computing, when the promise of technology was still unfolding. It launched before a global web connected humanity, when communication meant letters and landlines, and the idea of instant worldwide connectivity was science fiction. It left before the majority of people on Earth today had taken a breath, making it a relic from a time that feels both familiar and distant. It no longer orbits the sun. It is navigating the interstellar deep, a patient traveller from another time, drifting through a sea of darkness where stars are mere pinpricks of light. And against all odds, it is still speaking. Its voice of faint echo in the silence, a reminder that our reach can extend far beyond our earthly confines. This is the saga of Voyager 2 a sibling to Voyager 1, born from a single, breathtakingly ambitious plan to touch the giants of our solar system and beyond. It is one of the last human-made voices calling back from a realm beyond the sun's protective embrace, a fragile thread connecting us to the infinite. In 1977, NASA capitalized on a celestial alignment that occurs once every 176 years, a rare planetary dance that offered a shortcut through the outer solar system. The giant outer planets had arranged themselves in a cosmic chain, a gravity-assist route discovered with fundamental mathematics, a path that would not repeat for generations. This grand configuration was a gift from the universe, a chance to explore multiple worlds in a single mission. This path would allow a probe to use each planet's gravity as a catapult, slinging it to the next destination, harnessing the natural forces of the cosmos to propel it forward. Two spacecraft were constructed for this epic voyage, Voyager 1 and Voyager 2. Twins with separate fates, each equipped with identical tools but destined for unique journeys. They were equipped with sensors and imagers, instruments designed to capture the unknown and measure the invisible. And they carried a message, a golden disc bearing salutations in dozens of tongues, the sounds of our world, and music spanning human history, a time capsule of Earth's culture and spirit. Voyager 1 took a quicker part to Jupiter and Saturn, racing ahead to unveil the secrets of these giant gas giants. Voyager 2 followed and then pressed onward becoming the sole human envoy to ever grace Uranus and Neptune, venturing into realms no human eye had ever seen. At Jupiter, the voyages unveiled a dynamic kingdom of storms and fervent moons, a system teeming with activity and mystery. Io was a canvas of volcanic paint, its surface constantly reshaped by eruptions that spewed sulphur into space. Europa's frozen shell suggested a hidden sea, a subsurface ocean that might harbour conditions for life, sparking decades of scientific curiosity. The Great Red Spot, a storm larger than Earth, swirled with ancient fury while intricate cloud bands revealed the planet's turbulent weather. At Saturn, they transformed elegant rings into detailed maps, revealing patterns and divisions culprited by unseen moons, uncovering gaps and braids that spoke of gravitational dances. The rings shimmered with icy particles, each one a testament to the planet's complex history. Then as Voyager 1 turned its lens back to capture Earth as a pale blue dot, a humbling glimpse of a tiny place in the cosmos, its twin continued its lonely journey into the unknown, pushing deeper into the cold and dark. Uranus greeted Voyager 2 with a perplexing mystery, a world that defied simple explanation. The world spins nearly on its side, a 98 degree tilt that creates extreme seasonal chaos, where the sun shines directly on poles for decades. This odd orientation suggests a violent past, perhaps a colossal impact that knocked the planet askew. The spacecraft flew by, and returned visions in a spectrum of chill, a globe washed in deep blues where details lurk beneath the haze, a world of muted beauty and hidden secrets. It discovered two new rings and 11 new moons, expanding our understanding of this distant system. 
The cold was as unforgiving as predicted, with temperatures plunging to hundreds of degrees below zero, a frozen dream where gases become ice. The magnetosphere revealed a bizarre, off-kilter magnetic field, unlike the neat bipolar fields we know, hinting at a complex, churning interior, where forces warp and twist in unexpected ways. These pictures were stark, beautiful and historic. No other visitor had seen this frozen giant, none has returned, making these images our only close-up view. Beyond Uranus lay Neptune, a world of profound blue whipped by the fastest winds in the solar system, a gem of intense color and ferocious energy. Voyager 2 found a massive dark vertex churning in its atmosphere, a storm similar to Jupiter's great red spot but more transient and dynamic. It observed icy clouds high in the atmosphere, composed of methane crystals that catch the faint sunlight. And another strangely tilted magnetosphere added to the puzzle, suggesting that magnetic oddities are common in the outer solar system. And then it saw Triton, a moon that defied expectations by spewing nitrogen geysers across its frozen surface, hinting at a possible subsurface ocean warmed by tidal forces. This active world with its pinkish terrain and dark streaks became an instant focus for astrobiologists. The data it sent back still fueled scientific discovery today, with researchers analyzing old readings to uncover new insights. You could have called the mission complete, a resounding success, but the voyagers were designed with a stubborn will to persist, built to endure long after their primary goals were met. Past the planets lies an invisible border, the heliopause, where the solar wind yields to the galactic medium, a frontier between a solar bubble and the vastness beyond. We once imagined this as a simple line, a clear demarcation in space. In reality, it is a turbulent transition zone, a region of mixing and interaction where particles from the sun meet the interstellar flow. Voyager 1 pierced this veil in 2012, becoming the first human-made object to enter interstellar space. Voyager 2 crossed it in 2018 from a different trajectory, providing a second crucial data point that revealed the heliopause is not uniform, but shaped by solar activity. The evidence was clear, plasma density jumped, cosmic rays surged, and the magnetic field behaved in unexpected ways, challenging our models of space physics. Then the instruments began to detect a faint persistent hum, a background signal that permeates the void. It's not sound as we hear it, but oscillations in the interstellar plasma translated into frequencies we can perceive, a cosmic symphony played on the fabric of space. It is a quiet song of the galaxy itself, a melody of ancient events and ongoing processes. This background murmur is the pressure of ancient stellar explosions and the turbulence of cosmic clouds, the echoes of supernovae and the birth of new stars. We now have continuous measurements of this interstellar sea, a baseline for understanding the medium that fills the galaxy. The space between stars is not a vacuum, it is a medium with its own weather, a dynamic environment that influences the journey of cosmic rays and the formation of stars. The marvel is not sorcery but meticulous engineering, a triumph of human intellect over immense challenges. Voyager 2 is now so distant that a command takes over 18 hours to reach it and a response takes just as long, creating a dinog with a 36-hour delay. The deep space network listens for a whisper carrying less power than a refrigerator light bulb, using massive antennas to catch signals weaker than a whisper. The team has managed fading nuclear power with brilliant ingenuity, shutting down systems, rewriting code and firing dormant thrusters to keep the antenna aimed at home, performing remote surgery surgery on a machine billions of miles away. They have prioritized instruments, making tough choices to extend the mission's life. Every bit of data is a hard-won victory, a piece of knowledge snatched from the void. The stream is slower now, but it persists, a trickle of information from the edge. And every new reading is a piece of a puzzle we will use long after the transmitter falls silent, contributing to a legacy that will inspire future explorers. Voyager 2's gift is more than a photo album, it is a blueprint for the future, a guide for how to explore the unknown. Its pictures of alien weather and active moons shaped the missions we send today, like Europa Clipper and James Webb Telescope, directing our gaze to the most promising targets. It forced us to see the heliosphere as a dynamic interface, a living boundary that breathes with the solar cycle. It gave theorists real data to refine their models, replacing speculation with evidence. And it gave us something intangible, the conviction that we can cross these frontiers, that we can read these cosmic stories if we persist, fueling the human spirit of exploration. The golden record is part of this legacy, a symbol of our hope and curiosity. It is a message that transcends language, a file that needs no software update, designed to be understandable across time and space. It states, we existed, we listened, we imagined you. It carries greetings, music and sounds from Earth, from the songs of whales to the laughter of children. It is a small act of defiance against oblivion, a proof that we dreamed of reaching out. One day, contact will cease. The instruments will eventually fall silent in the cold, their power spent. The craft will 
adrift for aeons, a silent artifact sailing past other suns, its antenna forever fixed on a home it left behind, a monument to human ambition. If another intelligence ever finds it, they will learn that a small world once cast its voice into the deep, that we dared to speak to the universe. They will see that we charted storms and rings and measured the faint resonance of a plasma ocean, that we sought to understand our place in the cosmos. We built a messenger to outlive our civilization, a testament to our existence. They will see we drew a map using pulsars, hoping it would be enough to say we were here, pointing the way back to a tiny world. But we don't need that future listener to justify the journey. Voyager 2 has already accomplished its greatest task. It expanded the horizons of our knowledge, showing us worlds beyond imagination. It made distant worlds tangible, turning points of light into places with history and character. It crossed the theoretical boundary and revealed it to be a region of complex space weather, reshaping our understanding of the solar system's edge. It detected a hum that proves the cosmos is never silent, that the universe is alive with vibrations. From the space station, Earth appears intimate and vulnerable, a delicate bubble of life. From Voyager's vantage, it is a faint blue speck, a reminder of our smallness. Both perspectives hold truth, teaching us humility and responsibility. Connecting them is a thin thread of radio waves, a lifeline carrying the news that our curiosity can reach beyond the shore, that we are part of something vast. Voyager 2 may soon go quiet, but its legacy is eternal, living on in the missions it inspired and the unyielding human drive to explore. In the end, that is the ultimate present from this small determined machine, still voyaging, still teaching, still a part of us. If this story of human ingenuity and cosmic discovery resonated with you, please support our channel by hitting the like button and make sure you are subscribed to Winds of Thought. Your engagement helps us share more tales of exploration and wonder.